Alice Glenn, sorry. Alice, please, you, you wanted to say yes. Thank you, Gay. Yes. Well, um, are you totally opposed to divorce, Alice? Yes, yes. I am totally opposed <laughs> yes. to it. Based on your own experience, your work as a TD, what? Well, let us say something of both. Uh, may I say, first of all, that as a woman, the death of love between a man and woman and in a home is the most traumatic thing that can happen, and I fully appreciate that. I would go so far as to say that the effects of it are probably more devastating than the natural demise of either one of the, or the other, because in that circumstance, they are supported by friends and relatives, and their grieving period has a, some end in sight. For these other people, they live in a permanent limbo. We must recognize that. But so what can we for do me about as it? a legislator, I have the obligation, as have all of my colleagues, of looking at cause and effect. And we are talking now, we've heard figures from England and America and elsewhere, but we are now talking about this country and what we are facing into. And I tried to collect <coughs> some facts and figures uh, during the week. And I believe that we have at the moment about 500,000 families in this country who are working courageously to attend to their commitment and to raise children and to do all of the things, educate them, and all of the things that everybody sets out with the intention of doing. Only for some, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Now, it would appear the logical thing to do would be for us to have a look at where we are as a people in relation to the demand for divorce, first of all. And it seems from the figures that I have that there are 7,303 women who are drawing deserted wives allowance, uh, that's assistance and, and benefit, at a cost to the exchequer this year, last year of 21 million pounds. Um, the situation in relation to divorce, mm -hmm. all of the evidence from international sources would indicate a snowball effect from the introduction of divorce into a society. If anyone can show me one country, Italy, if they can tell Italy. me one country, Italy. well, Italy. I, well, I will. A we will come. Country like well, if I, uh, ca if I might, Gay, Italy. I would hope you without you interruption. What about Italy? Come to think of it, Italy a very low rate of divorce. Very, very, very low rate of divorce since divorce was introduced there, following a referendum in 1979. And if a, a similar referendum were, were held mm -hmm. here, I'm sure that we would have a similar result. Okay, the people would allow the introduction of divorce, but they would not have this snowball effect, this mad gallop and dash to have a divorce. Okay. I'm afraid that people like Alice Glenn have a very poor opinion of the Irish yes. people. And in fact, they have a very low opinion of Irish marriage. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on now, don't, it, don't it overdo it. It is my it. earnest yes. wish, because yes. of the seriousness of this topic, yes. that we could generate more light than heat. Yes. And if we are all allowed to continue to, to conclude what we're trying to say, yes. perhaps the people looking at us will have learned Have you something. any solution to the problem of marital breakdown, Alice? The problem of marital breakdown has always been there. There is no so doubt about that. What's the I solution? Want, I want have you a solution? No, if you would no. allow me. <laughs> there are no snap answers, Gay, and it is facetious to ask them. I want to make some points that are relevant. Yes. In 1976, the Family Home Protection Act and the maintenance of spouses was introduced for the first time, giving Irish women a protection they had never had before. We also have the Succession Act that protects women, even in a separation situation, where if the husband dies, they still have a right to his property. Now, in a divorce situation, the experience all over the world has been the theory that if a man div divorces his wife, they are now two strangers, and there is no right whatsoever that she should claim from him. And the women are ridiculed for wanting to do it. All of the figures, and if some, we, uh, William Binchy will answer the, uh, the Portugal and Italian one. That's good. I'm glad they were raised. <laughs> and he will do it very expertly. Now, the evidence abounds that if the women of this country were to find themselves in that situation, the majority of them would be on the scrap heap. And I want to go back to something one of the, uh, the people in the audience said about giving them a chance to remarry. 
Would somebody tell me what man would want to take on and remarry a woman with seven children? And I made five, 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 five